Hi everyone. I got some new um, items at Target today. So, and one of them was this. Just MDF board, I believe. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming it is. Um, and it's got a little Christmas tree. But uh, I had so much fun pouring on the Lazy Susan. And these were $3. So I thought, well, that's cool. So I'll try this. And if I like it, I'll go run out tomorrow and buy more. Because uh, I think it would cost me more than $3 to, well, in time and energy. It cost me probably more than $3 a piece to go out, purchase um, MDF for wood, go to my dad's, have him cut it, sand it, yada, yada. So three bucks seems good. And the place where, <coughs> sorry, choking here. Uh, the place where I sell my art when I brought in my ornaments and magnets yesterday, I showed her the um, Lazy Susan, which is right here. And, um, she loved it and she said, I know you don't do Christmas stuff, but you know, it's because a lot of people go there for um, Chris, you know, they change. It's a big holiday place for the. So um, now I totally lost what I was saying. Oh, she said I should make Christmas ones. And I was thinking, well, that one, those would be pretty expensive Christmas ones because uh, the Lazy Susan was more money and then resining it and you know I know I'm, there are obviously people that would spend that on just something to have out once a year but I wanted something more affordable and um, so I saw these and uh, so I'm going to do <clears throat> a pour on that and oh god now I'm trying to and then I will put like these marble things down here. So it won't be a lazy Susan, but it'll have little feet. And I'm leaving this Christmas tree here, kind of hoping that I can still see it when it dries and then I will embellish it afterwards. And there, I have my Christmas thing. I thought about covering the back with paper and taping it and that seemed like a lot of work. So um, to try and cut the circle and it's hard to tape in a circle. So I will just paint the back a solid color. All right, so that's, there's all that. So I'm using Artist Loft Metallic uh, Phthalo Green. And I mixed up a whole bunch of new paints again. So I've got all, and they're all labeled. And so I'm all organized once again to start off with. Oh goodness, and this is really thick. So I'm going to have to water this. The Artist Loft, especially the metallics, can be really chunky um, and hard to mix. I should probably move that. And so last night when I was making them all, it was chunky still. And so I just mixed it as much as I could and put the cap back on. And then overnight, as you can see, it is now smooth. So, it's just, I mean, and lots of people have this complaint about the Artist Loft, which is a brand from Michaels. But I really love their colors. They've, their colors are great. Um, and when they run sales, their prices are great. You know, you get a four and a half ounce tube for, you know, two dollars or two fifty, depending on which sale they've got going on. So you just have to, <clears throat> you know, kind of put up with the lumps and know that they will go away. You just might not be able to use that paint immediately upon mixing. Um, and this is Liquitex Basic Cadmium Red Deep Hue. So I made all of them. I made, last night I've got the Cadmium Red Light Hue, Medium Hue, and Red, and uh, Deep Hue. I love this line those colors. 
This is a gorgeous red. I love this red. And I'm seeing if this is the right consistency, which it is. So I'll set that aside. I'm going to move this. There's a nail in that one. I don't want a nail in my painting. So I'm just going to alternate the red and the green and do a flip and drag. I did have some metallic red, um, but honestly, I didn't want to mix another color right now. I wanted to get straight away to the painting, the fun part. Actually, last night I mixed up uh, about 10 colors and labeled them, and there's something kind of relaxing about that. Just a tad bit more. And then I put a new um, paint pad down and it's already got paint on it so I'm going to actually pour the white first and I, I don't know if this I mean it feels like it's got something on it um, so I did not prime it with anything. I mean, obviously you're looking at it and you can see it's not primed. Um, so I'm hoping it dries well. Uh, there's all sorts of... Um, the Floetrol that I mixed, the, that I made this white with tonight was the end of the uh, gallon. And so I think I'm getting like little, there, I think I got them all. I can really see them in the light. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, they're so gross, it's like little skins. Now that flow trawl's over, so. Well, and I'm seeing through here, I can see the grain. So I don't know how this will turn out. But the nice thing is that it can be sanded down and re-poured and wiped clean and all that good stuff. I'm going to torch for the air bubbles since I just mixed up that white very bubbly. This is also very thin. It would be fun to drill holes and make a door hanger or something of that sort. I like those door hangers that are so popular now. I don't have one and I don't make them. Um, my front door, I've got a piece of my mixed media art, um, the piece of Judaica art that I made that says Shalom. Should have kept better track of where that little tree was. Well, so far I don't like it at all. These colors are not 
very pretty. I mean, I don't like the colors together, so. the red doesn't look red. There's like no paint on here. Ooh, but I do like, this is cool, like a flower. So I'm going to keep going with it. better now, is it? This is gonna bring out red right here. do a straw. Maybe it's 
Sure is soaking in a lot, so maybe it's good I did that first pour and then wiped in the paint. Maybe it'll give it a little. Keep the colors true, or it should. Because that flip and drag, um, well, you saw. And especially when I remixed, or when I did that swipe over it, it all turned to pink. this goes. <clears throat> so turn on music if you don't want to hear me huffing and puffing. Is, is that there is not enough paint on here. Like it just won't. I don't have enough. The white is not um, staying on, really. Like it's just, hmm, because this is really not much better than the other one. looks like bugs because I really don't want tons of color I want more like this um, but I don't seem to be getting anything that I like giving it one last shot and then I'm calling it quits on this one for now. See, I like these dribbles. That's almost all I want. I'm 
Maybe I should do a red and white one and just have it be candy canes. And the reason that worked was because I had all the white in a puddle. So. There was just not, I think that was the cause of both of those prior paintings. Not enough paint. And this is going to be too much paint, but at this point I'd rather have too much then not enough. Because I think I'm going to be quite happy with this one. And it was all a matter of not having enough paint on my surface. Because that's why I've had, you know, I do use a lot of paint um, and a lot goes in goes down on my tray, but to get the look I want, I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. I actually think I'm really gonna like this. to lose it again. I probably just went and screwed it all up, didn't I? It just looks more abstract now. I should use more pure white. Well, it's all got green and red in it at this point. Actually, it's pretty funky looking. I think I like it. I think I'm glad I went overboard with the straw. There's a lot of 
color under there. Saying I need to stop, I need to stop, and then I keep messing with it. I really do wish I knew where that Christmas tree was on here, though. bubbles. It's almost like somebody had been blowing on it with a straw. All right. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Pretty content with this one. I think I got it. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.